So now that considering, okay, somebody is pregnant, uh, how reliable are these home tests? So uh, all these home tests or the blood tests detect a hormone called as beta HCG okay. or beta human chorionic codanotropin. Okay. And this is secreted by the embryo. Okay. And uh, the blood detects about 50 international units of, uh, sorry, the urine detects about 50 international units hmm. level of that hormone. And that is why generally when the blood, uh, the urine tests are done, we say you try to use the first urine sample because that's right. then it's most concentrated. Right. But by the time it reaches that level, it may be, you know, just before missing a period or a few days, four or five days after missing the period, the level would reach to that okay. unit. So typically the beta HCG would double every 48 hours. Okay. That's how it is. And it keeps on increasing till about uh, two and a half months mm -hmm. of pregnancy. And thereafter that level goes down. Mm -hmm. Most accurate would be to do a blood test and find out the beta HCG level. So okay. uh, that is the most accurate thing. Okay. So if sometimes it's possible mm -hmm. that the level in urine is less and the pregnancy test may show negative. Okay. And if you do it after a few days, then it can show positive. I would say they are reasonably reliable. Okay. Only if you're doing it too early, then it may show a false uh, negative. Okay. False positives are not very, very common. Because, of course, there are certain conditions where this beta HCG is secreted like in a tumor and things like that. There we can get a false positive, but it's right. extremely rare. So, uh, how, uh, what is the time frame you would recommend uh, that one should do this pregnancy hold test? Like, yeah. uh, how many days of missing the period? Yeah. So generally people will tend to do it the very second day or maybe the third day. I so guess. sometimes it can come positive even if you had like in the second, third day. Yeah. But I think uh, it's safe to wait for a week. A week. Surely one week. Definitely. And this is of course assuming that the cycles are regular and we are looking at, you know, the ovulation happening uh, mid-cycle like at right. 15 days yeah. and we are calculating everything depending on that. Mm -hmm. Now if the cycles of the woman are irregular and we would have expected a ovulation which would be later and a fertilization later then that may not be the most ideal time to check because if the pregnancy is smaller so the beta HCG will start secreting only after the implantation happens. True. So it is it for the level to reach that, it takes about a week, 10 days. Week. So accordingly, it depends on. So this right. is true for a woman who has uh, regular cycles, like a 20 day cycle. Okay. If the cycles are delayed or earlier, then you know, you may do it earlier or later. Agreed. Yes, so.